last year and they've won it again this year. Thank you very much, Pete. That was a very, very good uh, end of the race call for you guys. Thank you very much for your assistance. But outside of that, we might have cars coming around the outside of you guys. Everyone's outside getting ready. I'm leaving in 10 minutes. I'm not sick. It's good afternoon, Varel. You're in the hands of Dan, Danny, and Elizabeth today. Let's get this show on the road. NRS debut, Bo. Pumped? Pretty pumped, man. Pretty, yeah. uh, a bit nervous this morning, but I feel good now. Yeah. Once we start riding, it'll be good. How many wheat bits this morning? Five. Went for the oh, extra geez. one. Yeah. yeah. For a few words, boys, your attention, please. I'll be boys. Two, one. Without a break going, just it's been it's been chaos. I'm assuming this climb is you're gonna see some people going well out the back door. Brought that move back together, so Oh nice work mate. So I went to the front to help out and back together. I think Chris is pretty sick, pretty comfy, so you good for water. Yeah, cool. situation, 4Ks from the top of the climb. Probably two thirds of the peloton off the back. The only one that we have left in the bunch is Chris. Abel and Caldo were both sort of together with a decent little group, but probably a little too far back to come back to this race. Not impossible. It's absolute carnage. There's just riders dropping. George have a, a few left up yeah. the front. So really this ride, or this race is down to St. George, AMR, Mobius, ISO way and like two or three end Swiss riders. Jesse's showing a bit of form despite being off the back a little earlier with a mechanical. So hopefully once this climb tops out, we don't have too many left and you know, Chris is in there and looks still looking strong. Um, either that or hopefully we can get Calder and Abel back. Calder's only about a minute behind with a bigger group. Chris is in the front bunch with about 30 guys. Chris is in what? Front bunch with about 30 guys. There was a group like two or three minutes up the road that might get back on. See you, mate. Come on, lads. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. 
come through pretty clearly and distinctively in their own. <laughs> They probably they are probably one group too far back to come back. They're probably about three minutes. How should I play it from here? Just sit. Just it's yeah. Pretty attacking. Sit and go towards the end. Go with the move. Angus and um, Abel probably three minutes behind. Okay. Uh, I have right. a look at the lovely ladies here. Right, just yeah. coming, mate. Right, so, just coming. Yeah, cool. cool. There. Well, I'll, I'll run over to you before we leave, so I'm hanging out with the girls. They come across the line, but I think these are my riders. Situation on the road, we have nine riders in a break, one of whom is Jesse Coyle! Chris is in the big chasing group. So just to explain the excitement here, oh, Jesse right. Coyle, we, he was on the Savello team last year and we're still coaching him, he still rides with us all the time, so... Big weapon. Yeah, it looks like you didn't race to bike. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually a good bike ride. Bike ride? What? what? Yeah, because like people had numbers for one. You just go through patches, eh? Like it's easy to follow like six in a row for one point, and then you yeah. just like suffer for ages. What up, mate? Go for a ride every time. Oh, oh, Under six. I think my time will be the fastest. Oh yeah, nah. We need to upload to Strava now to get KOM. Yeah. <laughs> the presentation for our overall 2017 Grafton Dwimbera winner, Neil Van Der Ploeg. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause again to our podium place getters this afternoon. Aidan Tooby, Matt Ross and Neil Van Der Ploeg. Do a race. I'll do a race report later. But I finished in effectively the main peloton. I was under six hours. I think Jesse's maybe finished in the top ten, which is fantastic. I think I've probably finished outside the top twenty, which was kind of my goal. But then it was uh, just had to pick the battles there. Hope the lads aren't too far behind now. The graft, eh? Hey, hey Gussie. Hey. Whoa! Hey. This one. <laughs> <laughs> that means you gotta finish that one. Who is it, me? There is no happier man in life. <laughs> My life. The numbers over here. Toby's gonna kill to a great South Coast. And some possums. So and some possums. Guys <laughs> <laughs> for the team. Started off. I don't know what I'm saying. We're we're in the mix. Remember to edit that bit, Chris. <laughs> Good morning. It's the day after Grafton, or as we like to call it, the day after the Grafton evening. <laughs> Celebrated last night. Really happy. All the lads 
had a great ride. Um, we kind of went in with a bit of a theory that we didn't want to have any regrets today. <laughs> we pretty much made sure of that. So the guys who are making debuts or that kind of stuff, they've finished the race. Toby put me in a great position for the climb. I've finished 20 seconds or 27 seconds behind the winner. So took a few shots towards the end, didn't come off. So 24th over the line. But So that's the race. We'll go more into detail with that next week. I've got almost no battery left. There's not a lot of chirp here. Bo's eating wheat picks. But then, that's what Bo does.